The Plop Boot Manager can do many things. For me, the most useful feature is being able to boot from unsupported devices. For example, let's say you have a 386. You can boot Plop from a floppy disk and then boot from the CD-ROM drive. If you have a Pentium 2, for example, you can boot Plop from either a floppy disk or CD and then it will let you boot from USB. It is really easy to get going. You download the Plop Boot Manager from the Plop website, then you unpack it and inside you find a floppy image which you can write to a floppy disk and also an ISO image which you can write to a CDR. And then you go to your retro PC, boot from either the floppy or CDR that we just created. It will then load the Plop Boot Manager and you just select the boot device that you want to use. For demonstration, here we have a retro PC which has a slot 1 motherboard and a Celeron processor. We are booting Plop from the CD-ROM drive and then booting the free DOS installation from USB. For me, being able to boot from USB is quite significant. I see optical media getting harder and harder to find. For example, I looked around in my usual places available in my town and it is actually very difficult buying CDR disks uh, anymore. Floppy disks are already very hard to find. Uh, you have to turn to the used market in most cases. So being able to boot from USB is definitely a highlight. Uh, you just have to be working with a machine that has a USB port. So there you have it guys, the Plop Boot Manager is a really nifty utility. It lets you boot from unsupported devices, especially the ability to boot from USB on machines that don't have that BIOS functionality is a real highlight. Let me know if you used the Plop Boot Manager before. If not, do check it out and Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment and I shall see you soon with another one.